Facebook Live. Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman, Derek Yahuda, Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the order of what I seek to from study and prayer line on this fifth day in May, 2022. Y'all, let's, uh, let's get it in. It's Bible study today, huh? All right, well. <clears throat> Let's, uh, let's deal with this then. Let's go to um, 2 Timothy 2.24. Excuse me, y'all. Patricia Johnson, good to see you in here. Young Barbara in the building, good to see you in here as well. Faithfulness is important. Oh, you know who will bless you. Uh, my niece is in here, not even feeling well, and she in here doing what, what she's called to do. Um, big bro, my big brother Gene, he up in here as well. Yakuan, what's up with it, man? Kala, hello, Yahua, good to see you in here, young lady. Elder Yosef, hold this post down, and we got my beautiful mother. In here once again, bless your mother, Mary Yahoo. I thank the Most High for the recovery in your in your health. And may the Most High continue uh, to recover you, Al Mal, my pal. Demina, how you doing, young lady? Battle, battle in the building. Hallelujah. Uh, yep, let's get it, y'all. See, sitting here in front of these bananas be bugging me because now I want to eat one. Okay, y'all, I'm going to be cool. I, I got to get just a little piece. I know I shouldn't have did that. I just couldn't help it. Warren Williams, what's up with it? Bless you, my brother. Don Dean. Um... Quick prayer for the family. Don Dean's niece died uh, this morning. Wow. Painful. Mm. Spirit of the Most High, we love you. Thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Come to know how. Uh, standing in the gap with uh, the bereaved family and the loss of their loved one. Be merciful. Be merciful, Yah. Console the family. Console the family and the loss of their loved one. Dispatch your angel text about the family. Keep them safe. Uh, we love you. We need you. We thank you. In Yahushua's name, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. And I'm on. I'm going to call you after. Uh, uh, Don. Uh, Trenda, good to see you in here. Mark Logan. Jeff Brown. Good to see you in here as well. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's good potassium. Oh, Demina. Yeah, Mother Joyce, good to see you in here. Praying for the family. Bless you, uh, uh, Don Dean. We like Teresa in here, too. How you doing, young lady? Hope I didn't miss no one else. <clears throat> Second Timothy 2, 24. Look what it says. It says, uh, the master servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, um, able to teach, not resentful. Opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that Yah will grant them repentance, leading them to, to a knowledge of, of the truth. And that they will come to see their their senses 
that they would come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil who has taken them captive, captive to do his will. Nicole Robinson, good to see you in there. Al Hawk, what's up with it, man? So you got your uh, tag game on. Banks is in the building. I'm sorry, y'all. Just one more time. I'll be good. Um, did y'all know um, that our fallen nature is a trap? <clears throat> and the Bible describes it. Um, from a Bible study standpoint, like to really learn, right? Um, the first nature, our first, very first nature, which came from Grandpa Adam, is a failure. It's condemned and it's wicked. So we can get a better understanding of why the Bible says we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Because in the original nature, we're doomed, aka the first Adam. We're doomed in that in that nature. He blew it. He didn't have to blow it, <clears throat> but he did. And so in that nature, in and of itself, it goes against the most high. Period. Even, even when the word was born, it wasn't born of the seed of Yosef, a.k.a. Joseph. It was a virgin's birth. Because man's seed is polluted and is marked by the first Adam. So it was the Ruah that impregnated Miriam, who, a.k.a. known as Mary. And so the word being found fashioned as a man, the man had to humble himself to the word that the word would have preeminence over his life. And he never lost fellowship with the word, which is and which was his eternal life. When we receive him, supernaturally, we're baptized to his death to escape that nature, because that's that's what we're really here to do, to escape us. You're here to escape you, and I'm here to escape me. I, I bid you blessings that you succeed. <clears throat> because the Bible describes the carnal mind is enmity against the most high. The carnal mind. That's that first nature. It's enmity against Yah. It's not subject to the law of Yah. Neither indeed can be. Let me repeat that part. Neither indeed can be. It cannot. You mean nice people? They're not nice as you think. Because of that evil nature. You got folks that believe they don't need Yah. They in trouble. Because they don't bother nobody. And you know they help feed the poor. And they share every now and then. They're in trouble because that nature comes up short. Are y'all with me? You know how the Bible said, he is wise when souls. You got to know how to get a person out of the prison. The prison they were born in, 
born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Which leads us to this scripture, Ryan. The Messiah's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach and not resentful. You got to be, you got to be, um, selfless. It's a Bible study, y'all. You got to be, you, in order for you to win souls, you got to be selfless. Now, I do understand, like, even a position that I have, right? Um, you know, there was a complaint in the Bible that talked about, how you need to be teachers, but yet you still need to be taught. Because you got folks from an expectation of Yah should be further and should be able to walk in a um in a in a in a in a high level of selflessness that they might win others. Because the Messiah would not have been able to come and rescue us had he been in his emotions. Had he been mindful of his flesh, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have been able to do it. He would have got offended and killed all of us. <clears throat> he would have said enough is enough. Who these people think I am? Taking kindness for weakness. He would have did all that. And we got to get to the point that the most high can use us. To the point that we don't end up in the bed with who we should be witnessing to. That we don't end up cussing out who we should be an example to. Are y'all with me? We should have been delivered from certain things in our flesh years ago. It's okay, we're going to get there. So... The master's servant must not be quarrelsome. You don't want to get into it with people. But must be kind to everyone. Even those that's out of pocket. Able to teach and not resentful. Resenting what they did. How they treat you. How they talk to you. Opponents. The scripture classified the individual as an opponent, because they are spiritual opponents. You go run into people that are spiritual opponents. Y'all two different teams. But opponents must be gently instructed. So the responsibility relies on you to instruct an opponent gently. Got to have some patience. Yeah. In the hope that Yah will grant them repentance. You, you, you're, 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 you, you got your flesh in check. You got your flesh in check. So you can deal with them. And try to get them over the hump. You got to be selfless to do it. You got to be. You with me, Banks? Yeah. Hallelujah. Rhonda Ponder, good to see you in here. So opponents, opposition. Bible's calling them your opposition. Listen, <clears throat> must be gently instructed in the hope, the hope lies in you for them to overcome. Opponents must be, must be gently instructed in the hope that Yah will grant them repentance, leading them to, 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 to a knowledge of the truth or even acknowledging the truth. Truth is right here. Flesh will stop you from acknowledging it. We have a dilemma. So now they need your gentleness, your wisdom, your love to help them acknowledge the truth that's waiting to save them. <clears throat> 
So opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that the Most High will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth and that they will come to their senses, spiritual senses. Um, them coming to the senses, now we're talking about somebody that's supposed to be saved because the world... Um, don't have that yet. The unyali don't have that yet. You can be saved obeying Yah and then get caught up in your flesh. And now, you know, you need, you, you, you need to, you need to, you need some help. Let me, uh, let me show you this. Let's go to Galatians right quick. All right. And I'm going to go to Galatians uh, 6. So let's go. Then what this at? Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, at least I also be tempted. Did y'all catch that? Let me read it in NIV. Brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in a sin, you who live by the spirit should restore that person gently. But watch yourself or you also may be tempted. Are y'all with me? Um, we should have a spirit of reconciliation. Did y'all know that? Get this banana away from me, y'all. Listen. Um, we should have a spirit of reconciliation or something wrong with you or you'd still need to be reconciled. If you don't have the spirit of reconciliation, it's because you haven't been reconciled. Because everybody that has been reconciled by the Most High take on the spirit of reconciliation. And that's why he sends you to, to, to help others. It's the truth anyhow. Are y'all with me? Um... automatically, when you become saved, you want everybody saved. And if you don't want everybody saved, I'm telling you now, check, check, check yourself. Look in the mirror of the words yourself. Figure something wrong. <clears throat> because the revelation that's inside of him saving you Right, there's an inside scoop. There's an inside secret that will be revealed to the one that has been redeemed. They're so grateful with revelation that they've been forgiven of their wickedness that now they want everyone to be forgiven for, for their wickedness as well. Oh, it's the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a revelation inside of it. If you haven't experienced it, then you definitely don't know how to give it. Beverly, good to see you in here. Are y'all with me? <clears throat> so, brethren, Galatians 6, 1, y'all. Bless you, uh, Cooley. Yeah, I guess the sister thought she was saved, man. That's that church stuff. Hopping around butt naked. Like at a stripper club. Uh, doing the, the, the church shout dance. I mean, come on. Good to see you in here, Cooley. Galatians 6 and 1. Brother, if a man be overtaken in a fault, right? When you've been redeemed, you, you, you want them redeemed. They're overtaken in a fault. Ye which are spiritual restore, restoration. 
They already know the most high. But a person can slip and fall and can't get up. Emmett Little John, good to see you in here. Congratulations on your on your new marriage. Galatians 6 and 1. Brother, if a man is overtaken in a fault, it's a fault. Caught in a sin. Ye which are spiritual. Those are the led by the spirit. You want to restore. Yeah, you, 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 want, you want them restored. Restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. You got to watch how you approach a carnal person because you can get your butt beat. <laughs> you can get slapped or something. You, you can get cut. You can get shot. Yeah, but you should know that. And something wrong with you is if you approach them about sin and you end up sinning. Yeah, that's bad. Your little phone went off. Where they at? They in the hotel. What they doing? They smoking crack. Oh, no. Let me get over there and help. Two hours later, you get a phone call. Where they at? No, the one that went to go help them. They never came back. Oh. Oh, we need to send somebody else because now they both smoking. You went over there to fix the problem. Next thing you know, you swinging. It was two. It was two people cussing. You ran across the street to break it up. Now it's three pe people cussing because because you over there now. Brother, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, you got to be up, for, and and we should be, we should be, we and we should have the spirit of reconciliation. It's y'all with me. Good to see you in here, Woods. We should have a spirit of reconciliation, but we got to be equipped. Listen, brother, if a man be overtaken in the fall, you with your spiritual, restore. Fix it. And you got to be capable. I use this parable all the time because it just fits well with me. But it's like you join the rescue team to rescue deer you know, during the winter, off the ice, they're on the ice. And you know how deer, how they built, you know, if they slip and slide, they can break a leg and then end up dying or end up laying there until a polar bear come eat them or something, right? So you join the team to go get the deer off the ice. Well, when you come, when you come, you and the team coming, there's three of y'all, y'all coming, y'all got the net and everything to grab the deer. Well, when the deer see you approaching, the deer see danger. They don't know you coming to help them off the ice. They on the ice. They believe you coming to eat them. So they scared. So you approaching the deer, y'all. You approaching the deer. And, 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 and you move wrong. You, you've been trained. But you move wrong. And the deer hop up and pop you. Pop. Boop. Bust you in the face. You know, with his little hoof, right? Pop you, pop. You fall back, pull out your pistol, pop, 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 and empty the clip in his head. Hey, they need to get rid of you. <laughs> yeah, and you need to go to jail. You out of pocket. A person that moved wrong, the deer think you're trying to kill him. He's scared. He jump up, pop you. You go, oh, my bad. Get back, y'all. You know, look up. Recover yourself and finish trying to get the deer. Someone not qualified going to drop back and empty the clip. Deer sandwiches. Deer. 
Brother, if a man be overtaken in the fall, you which are spiritual, you come to restore. <laughs> Just for a disclaimer, there, there's certain, you know, like if you read Jude, there's, there's more than one way to deal with a person. And when you're dealing with elders and people that are responsible and say they, they sin into the point that they sin start leaking and others know, you're supposed to rebuke them sharply, just so you know. You just got to know how to rightly divide the word. I'm going to continue to teach this, but I just want to let y'all know that if you ever see me doing my job and I rebuke someone that's of reputation and that's an elder and they're out of pocket, don't be shocked because I have done it and I'll do it again. Count on it, just so you know. Back to this. Listen. <clears throat> Brother, if a man be overtaken in the fall, you which are spiritual, listen. Restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself. That's what I was talking about. You went over there to break it up, and now you fight. You went over there to say, y'all lower your voice, quit cussing. Next thing you know, it's an extra voice because it's yours. You didn't mess around and got offended. Now you acting a fool. Consider thy own self, least thou also be tempted. Is y'all with me? Okay. Um, when you approach people, look at this. Go to Proverbs 18. 18 and 19. It's a Bible study, y'all. Hope y'all get these scriptures and commit this to heart so we can move forward like this. Look. Proverbs 18 and 19. A brother offended. It's harder to be won than a strong city. And their contentions are like the bars of a castle. Woo. Bless you, man. Right on. Right on. Have your business, Emmett. Always good to see you in here, family. <clears throat> Listen. When a person is offended, a.k.a. offended with Yah, you know, just upset, you're offended with Yah when you go against him because he's the one that commanded you to do what's right, regardless of the circumstances, right? But listen to me. When someone's offended, I'm telling you, they're hard to win. Paquita, good to see you in here. They're super hard to win, boy, because... There is a heightened alert in their flesh. The flesh is like Esau's flesh. His response was to save me. Forget Yah. And the Most High said, Esau, I hate Jacob, I love. He said, I hate Esau. He's really talking about that spiritual condition of, uh, of the self-survival of your wicked nature. It has a built-in self-survival mechanism. And when it's offended, the guards go up, the bars go up, like the bars of a castle. Boom, boom, it wants to protect itself. Somebody's screwing and you try to uh, stop them. When they made up their mind, that's what they're going to do. The bars go up and you're on the outside. You're not the enemy. Somebody on drugs, somebody alcohol, somebody in sin, they sinning. And you come around, you ain't even got to say nothing. Your presence condemn them. Them, bar, them bars go up. Whoa, whoa, quit judging me. You know, quit judging me. And they're hard to win. Who you think you You think you better than me? You be saying stuff like, I, I didn't say I was better than you. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't say nothing. I just said hi. <laughs> but them bars go up. Yeah. Yeah, they're offended, and especially when they know you, you you know that what they're doing is wrong, and they know you know, you ain't got to say nothing. You ain't got to say nothing. It's a war. As soon as they, as soon as y'all lock eyes, here come this goody two shoes. Always want to judge somebody. I ain't even say nothing. I just said hi. So a brother offended is harder to be one than a strong city. Yeah. And their contention is like the bars of, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a castle. A fortified 
fortress, a, a castle with bones. Hard. And if you into your emotions, you ain't going to be able to do it because you're going to get mad. You're going to start. I told you. They, he was just a spirit. We just read it. If you somebody overtaking the fall, you with your spiritual restore. Because if you're not spiritual, you're not going to be able to do it. You're going to end up sinning with them. Y'all with me? Hey, Trinda, you right. Again, it's just, just when you when you walking in the Ruah, the Ruah condemns people. And again, especially when you see folks like there's folks, you know why folks be coming and going? Because they get offended. They be offended. Your presence condemn them. You know. You ever met those who say, I know, I know, I know. I ain't even said nothing. I know, I know, I already know. I ain't even said nothing. What are you talking about? You know what? They know what they're supposed to be doing in Yah, and they're not. And your presence condemns them. So a brother offended is harder to win than a strong city. And their contentions are like the bars of a city. They, they stuck. They stuck. They, they stuck like they stuck like Chuck. Can I say Chuck? Chuck? Any Chucks out there? Chuck? I wasn't talking about you, man. It just it's the same. Stuck like Chuck. That's what they are. Okay. Don't get don't get, okay. Let's go. Let's look at this. Let's go to John eight. John 8, 34. Look what this said. Look what it say. 34, 8, 34. Yahushua answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, unto you, uh, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. <laughs> See, we be thinking that we can commit sin like we in control. But to tell you the truth, the sin is what's in control. Yeah, you become a slave to it. Yeah. You look at their butt even when you don't want to. All the saints can be around. All the believers, the whole misfit car around. And they look at you and, and, your, and your eyes glued dead on her butt. <laughs> Real awkward, isn't it? Real awkward because you're a slave to it. You couldn't even help it. You get to scratching and looking weird, and all of a sudden, boom, your eyes dead on their butt. You can't even help it. Because cause it's running you. You ain't running it, it's running you. Crotch watches. See, sisters are glancing at crotches. Can't help it now. Peter Gazer, they call it. Peter Gazer. Can't help it. Yeah, because it because it took over you. Can't do can't do what's right because you playing with the devil and, and he grabs you. That, the sin grab you. I'm telling you the truth, too. Sin will grab you. <clears throat> so whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. But then look what he said about the servant. The slave. Let's talk real then. The slave. I'm going to read it in this so y'all can really feel me. Yahushua replied, Verily, or truly I say unto you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now, a slave has no permanent place in the family. But a son belongs to the family forever. So if the son, son sets you free, you will be free indeed. See, the Messiah came to set you free from that. Well, he passed the baton to us. He gonna do it in the ruah, but we got we we we're, we're boots on the ground. We're we we have a responsibility to help people make it over. <clears throat> if the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Let's we have a responsibility. Let's go back to the original scripture so we can. Get ready to get out of here. Second Timothy 2. 
and 24 so you can understand why, you know, I read this particular scripture to have a Bible study on this. It's, 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 it's the master's servant must not be quarrelsome. You can't afford, you're going to be, you, you trying to help somebody, you're going to end up acting up. So the servant of the most high must not be a quarrelsome, but must be kind to everybody. That should be your disposition now. Able to teach, not resentful. Opponent must opponents must be gently instructed. The the word is letting you know that who you dealing with is your opponent. They're against what you talking about. But love is what have you dealing with them in the first place. The spirit of restoration is the reason why you dealing with them. You get to expose your gentleness, your ability to love. Yeah, he is wise when souls. You get to show how wise you are. Unfortunately, you can also show how wise you're not, how religious you are. You can go either way. If you ain't Yah, it, it, it don't go either way. It goes one way. The spiritual restores such a one in the spirit of meekness. Consider themselves because you don't want to now y'all into it. Now it's now y'all funking. You don't want to go in and help somebody and then end up, oh, you, you just don't need that. You got to be able to st strategically get in there, try to help. If you can't, you got to strategically get out and then pray for them. Which, which entails more scripture like, give not that which is holy on the dogs, neither cast thy pearls before swine. You got to even understand when to withdraw. Because it's not going too well. But you don't want to withdraw with nasty words. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to withdraw funking. You want to be able to get in, see if you can help. And sometimes you can't, so you got to get out real smooth and just pray for them. Right? So the most high servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful, holding grudges and stuff, right? Your opponent must, opponents must be gently instructed and come from your part in the hope that the most high will grant them repentance, leading them to the acknowledging of the truth. The truth is right there waiting to be acknowledged that can rescue them. Yeah. And they that will, uh, that they might, that they may come to their senses, wake up. Like, like the, uh, you remember the uh, prodigal son? He was in there eating with the pigs and, and the Bible said he came to himself like, whoa, what am I doing? That's what you want. That they will come to their senses and escape from the trap. They, they were stuck in a trap, y'all. Folks think they having a good time. <laughs> Folks think that they... I, I seen it all. Y'all know it, man. I seen it all. I've seen folks do some weird stuff, boy. But you just pray for them that they escape. And then you, you're happy when they escape, when they finally wake up. You pray for them. You want them to wake up. That they will come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil who has taken them captive to do his will. That's cold when you, when, when you got the can't help it. Told you to leave him alone. You didn't. Now you stuck. Now you want to get back to Yah and you can't find your way back home. You get folks leave Yah for these jacked up uh, relationships and they get told, they get their whole head ripped off. They wouldn't give to the ministry. That's my money. They show giving it to the player though. They wouldn't give it to the ministry. They show giving it to the, yeah, the young lady milking them. Can't sleep at night, getting cheated on, beat on. Know we in the last days, we run out of time and you stuck. It's a terrible feeling. Gotta get a fix. Gotta, gotta get another hit. Stuck. It's terrible. Devil come get him anytime he want and tear their whole life up. And they're servant to sin. So we gotta we gotta have a spirit of restoration. We gotta care, y'all. And we gotta use 
uh, of the tools the Most High gave us to use, which is his Ruah, his love, the truth of his word. We got we to gotta help him, y'all. We got we to help him. And we need help from him, like Trinder say, help us, y'all. Yeah. 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 Let's pray for one another. We run out of time. It's getting real around here. It's not looking too good, y'all. In the natural, it's not looking too good. But we're going to stay in the spiritual Goshen. We're gonna, the name of Yahuwah is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and they're safe. We need to stay in the ark of safety, his name. Yeah, that's what we need to do. And if you see somebody fall, you, you if you spiritual, help them. If you ain't call somebody spiritual, you just pray and stay out the way. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. That was the Bible study. How to restore. That was the Bible study. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for uh, gleaning in your word to find the nuggets of truth that we may govern ourselves accordingly. Continue to uh, give us the spirit of restoration and how to restore. Hallelujah. Because we want to know. We, we love your children. We love your bidding. The same bidding that you did to bid us in, give it to us so we can bid others in, in your name. Uh, we accept even this knowledge and this power to do to, to do that and walk in the Ruach. And we give you all the credit for it. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. And Amen. That was the lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the Most High say. Okay? Okay. All right, y'all. <clears throat> Thank everybody to, you know, push the share button and, 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 and definitely the tag. And I love that. Y'all continue to do so. You're welcome, Barbara. Um, y'all y'all stay encouraged in him and continue to encourage one another. I thank everybody that financially supports this ministry. You deem this to be good ground. If you're stingy and you're not giving to no ministry, I'm going to pray for you because you're not right. You should support ministry. I'm not saying support this one, but everybody should support Yah's work financially, just so you know. It's a biblical principle and it's a necessity. Everyone should be doing it. Now, if this is good ground for you and you're growing and you're learning, then this way you should. Maybe this is not the ministry for you and you grow somewhere else, then you should be given there. But wherever the Most High is feeding you, you should financially support it. Y'all should know that by now. But I love y'all. I love y'all. Y'all continue to pray for me. I'll continue to pray for you. Y'all want to talk about the word, the lesson. You got time. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But if you do, uh, all you got to do is dial 302 202 1102 extension 815648. Again, 302 202 1102 extension 815648. Thank you, Mark Logan. I was reading it from the screen because of you, sir. Yeah, but that's the number. Y'all chime in. Again, uh, support ministry. Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm gone.